Welcome back to your SIU Medicine Minute. Joining me today is Dr. Sriya Ratatunga, a rheumatologist here at SIU Medicine. Dr. Ratatunga, thanks so much for joining us today. We're glad to have you. Thank you so much for having me. So we're gonna talk about osteoporosis today. For those that don't know what it is, tell me a little bit about what osteoporosis is. Osteoporosis is a disease which can cause a weak bone. Patients with osteoporosis can have fractures without any significant fall or trauma. So it is a silent disease until they get a, a fracture. It is uh, different from osteoarthritis, which is the common arthritis condition that can cause uh, uh, pain and a stiffness in the joints. So since it is painless, it is called silent disease. So what are some of those risk factors for osteoporosis? Women after menopause and people who have family history of osteoporosis, people who take steroids and anti medications, and patients who have arthritis conditions such as lupus or rheumatoid arthritis, people who smoke and also people who take excessive amount of alcohol can increase the risk of, can have increased risk of osteoporosis. For someone that thinks they might have osteoporosis, how do we find out for sure? Um, it, there is a test called bone density scan. It is a simple x-ray. By doing so, you can make the diagnosis of osteoporosis. How can someone that thinks they may have it help to keep their bones healthy and strong? Um, if you take enough calcium and vitamin D, uh, like you know, if you take yogurt, uh, um, green leafy vegetables and seafood and uh, the milk, uh, those uh, food items can increase calcium and vitamin D. And also if you do the uh, weight bearing exercises at least 30 minutes per day. And if you don't smoke and um, do not take excessive amount of alcohol, that increase the bone strength. And can osteoporosis be treated? Yes, um, you, uh, there is a, a common medication we use, bisphosphonate, and also there are other varieties of medications available to treat osteoporosis as well. Dr. Ratatunga, a rheumatologist here at SIU Medicine, thanks so much for joining us today. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me again.